Welcome back, fellow otakus, to another edition of Sensei Talks. This time we're going to be talking about my professional writing class. For those of you who don't know, my name is Mike Reinstein, a.k.a. Mike Sensei, and I'm taking a professional writing class. And when I think about my assignments that I completed this term, the one that I'm most proud of is probably my proposal, because I just got done completing Portfolio 2, where we did a business analysis report so I got to take that Square Enix business analysis report and I got to find out how I could make a professional proposal out of it and if I think about concrete skills that I've learned this month I gotta say the one that stands out the most was during week one we learned what fluff guff geek and weasel are in writing and for some reason that article just sticks with me and I now when I type and I write I'm constantly thinking, am I fluffing it, am I guffing it, geeking it, or weaseling it? And it, it kind of just sticks. And now if I reflect on the most impactful peer review or advice that I got, it would be from Professor Startup when I was writing my negative message assignment. She uh, gave me feedback that says uh, that I should move my last sentence in my second paragraph to the end of the third paragraph. So that way it ends on a positive note. And I signed off saying, keep dreaming. I remember rereading it and I was like, oh yeah, that does sound very sarcastic. Like, oh, keep dreaming. And, And to me, it made me really think about like the order and how you clearly lay out and organize your stuff really matters on like the intention like the the, how the reader the reader interprets what you're writing so that will always stick with me and now that i've completed this course i uh know that now there's a time and a place for everything and how i represent myself there's a time to be more professional there's a time to be more towards my brand style of writing and to separate those things, I can't always use my brand style of writing in a professional letter or a negative message. So it's kind of nice to know with this class ending where the difference is, where the line is drawn, and how professional writing can be adjacent and combined with my creative writing. Overall, there was a lot of great assignments, you know, like the negative message, the negative emails, which no, not everything was negative, but. It's nice to know how to do that stuff, and it's nice to like think outside of the box other than just creative writing. And uh, stuff I'll take with me. Thank you all for watching, and stay otaku, my friends.